driving through Portsmouth, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I love these roads, these neighborhoods. It's just how you get to where you're going. It's like being in a small town, but you're not in a small town. The trees are just... Well, but I mean everywhere in New England feels like a small town because there's so many trees. Yeah. You know, you don't get that in Utah. River feels like a city because there's no trees because we live in a desert. But it's so pretty and it's fun and this is the first day we've seen the sun on our trip. It's gonna be like 77 today. Hot. Excited. Excited to just not be freezing and not have a constant drizzle of rain on us like we have the last few days. So we're headed out for our Wrong way. Head east on Middle Road towards South Street, then slight right onto South Street. I mean, it's all connected, and we like to take the scenic route. So, headed out for a day in the sun, I guess. At least outside again. So you do on vacation. Yeah, it is. This yellow building houses pools over the century, and there's a parker. We have two pools. Nobody has any idea what they were used for. I don't have a very good analogy for that in my lifetime, but I will tell you, the vast majority of people when I pose this question have no idea what I'm talking about when I mention a pen wiper. Anybody know what a pen wiper is? Okay, well you're all so much younger. It's just a small square of cloth that would you use to wipe the nibs, nibs off your pens when the ink coagulates. Uh, you might have known that, sir, and probably forgotten. <laughs> we are at Strawberry Bank. It's so bright. <laughs> Looking old at all people's the... paradise. We do. We go on vacations, but a lot of old people go on. It's kind of funny. And we are looking at a bunch of old houses in like the 1600s. Can we not go in there? I didn't know if we were going to help him. There's a fire in it. Let's go in. Could be your hobby, Mike. You can just. Except for when we went to Hobby Lobby, you were like, "Why do you want a miniature car?" Because cars are dumb. Ships are cool. <laughs> if we find a ship kit, we'll buy it. <laughs> Boo. Hey. Hello, good sir. Hi. My name is Charles Davis. I own this tavern. Where do you want to travel from? Utah. Uh, I'm going to guess Western Territories. Western Territory. Because You're right. I haven't heard it's either, it's either uh, south or west. So. It's <laughs> west. Yep, you're right. <laughs> That's like dialogue, I'm thinking west, not south. <laughs> Get it, Mike. Run! Think smarter, not harder. <laughs> we don't run. We don't have to. It's not worth it. Ignorance is bliss, people. Think smarter, and ignorance is bliss. Apparently, those are the themes of our day, right, Mike? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Nicholas Bizarre is this not like Jews? He's persecuting the Jews, so he sends his Cossacks, the military men, into the villages to burn down the houses of the Jews and to kill them, to make sure that they're gone. Look at those! Look at those leaves. Do you feel like you're driving in New England in the fall? Yes. Get even 
having a better view tomorrow though. We finished at Strawberry Bank. Now we're on our way to Lake Winnipesaukee. Did you go sailing? <laughs> I sailed. Uh, what about Bob wasn't actually filmed there, disappointingly enough. It was filmed in Virginia. But we're still going because... It's... We're not sure what else to do. No. Uh, I thought that was a boy. Well, it's supposed to be beautiful. Uh, I'm sure it will. People go from, come from all over the country to go to Lake Winnipesaukee. Jimmy Fallon's wife's family has a house on Lake Winnipesaukee. I just read that on the internet this morning. So, if that's not saying something. It must be true. And we have no idea where to go once we get there. I have Googled and Googled where to find like the best view from Lake Winnipesaukee. There's not really much guidance on the internet. So, we're just winging it at this point. Yeah. Going to the lake. It's 120, so we've got plenty of time to enjoy ourselves before we check into our next hotel, which we get to stay in for two nights. Which is funny because that's normally you would stay in a hotel for more than one night, but every single night on this trip we've changed hotels. So to stay in a hotel for two nights and not have to pack up the next morning is awesome. Definitely. We're at Lake Winnipesaukee. Hey -o. Now we're just trying to find a way to actually get close to the lake because everywhere is private. So. It's rather difficult. <laughs> um, we're in a town called Wolfsboro. Wolfsboro. Yeah. Wolfsboro? Good enough. I don't know. It's cute and look, no New England town is complete without a white church with a tall steeple. And there we go. This town has one. The leaves are changing. We found somewhere to eat. Yep. So things Pizza. are going well. Because <laughs> our bellies are full. So full. There's Lake Winnipesaukee. I'm gonna go see how freezing it is. This is not private property. Not that cold? No, you could swim. You good? Whoa, don't get my shoes wet. That is pretty cold. That's pretty cold for swimming. No, you could swim. I don't know. I made it all the way here. <laughs> and now what? Keep driving. Keep driving. That's what we do on this vacation. <clears throat> it's not that terrible. Take a picture. Oh, we're so cute. Hi, Mike. Hi. Uh, Just getting some colors in the background. Yeah. Wow. You look good against all that fall foliage. What does? You do. Yeah. <laughs> We made it to North Conway in the light. Yeah, yeah. And every other hotel we've gotten to, we've arrived in the dark. But we just passed a Christmas store. It's Christmas. And we're gonna go inside because it's a Christmas store. Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Christmas block. My name is Bessie. What's yours? Ooh. Won't you say hello to my friend Stumpy the Oak Tree? I'm Stumpy. It's very nice to meet you. That's stumpy. <laughs> Please come in and take a stroll through our village. Ooh. Can you hear the sweet sounds of the bird family singing in Stumpy Branches? Do you recognize the song they're singing? Why don't we sing along? I feel so joyful jingle right now. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to <laughs> ride in the one horse open sleigh. I feel really good about this place. What? He said I feel really good about this place. It's not fun, dude. 
push it. I always push the button. No, I'm not gonna push the button. It was the night before <laughs> Christmas. All through the house, not a creature was scared. You never know. <laughs> I think I'm in serious. Stockings were hung above the chimney with hair. The hopes that said nothing soon began. The children were in all Wait for me in their beds. The visions of sugar plums danced in their beds. That was supposed to be a real child? Or was that a doll? What? Look, we found Santa. He is real. We found him. He has chestnuts. He has chestnuts. The elves. We're gonna see something like this tomorrow. I think. Yeah. One of these little bridges. Yeah, I think it's part of the flume. Chase Sorry, the story is still going. Christmas village. Mike, that was the best thing we've ever done on the whole trip. Best thing. This store. <laughs> Mike, and there's another Christmas store. We should go to this. There is? Yeah, we passed it on the way in. Yeah. How close? We passed it on the way into the city. This city? Yeah. Yes, I got it. You're cute. Give him a hug. Oh, it's so nice. Is there room for me? It's all right here. That's where you're supposed to sit. I didn't bring the tripod or we could have um, taken a so, picture together. Um, just stick it out there. Do it. <laughs> Who, me? Look at the fall leaves. <laughs> in the Christmas store and the fall leaves, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Ending this for the day. <laughs> we finished our night at this humongous outlet mall that we just found. It's huge. It was. We didn't buy a thing because. Bigger than Park City. We would have to put it in our suitcase and take it home, so we didn't buy anything. That's how we roll. Uh, we're going to go home and lay in our bed and watch a movie probably because. 7 o'clock and we're too full for dinner because what else are we going to do? That's right. We had pizza. Okay, another day in New Hampshire tomorrow. So fun. Bye. Mountain time.